There it is. Oh, there's the shot, guys. So this is a glass tree frog. Look at the underside of his belly. He's actually translucent. So you can see his organs, his intestine. You can see the heart. Uh, that is a beautiful animal. Look at just the inside of him pumping. So these frogs um, are tropical. They, they're arboreal, meaning they live in the tree area. As you can see, he blends in definitely to like his green, green plants and things of that nature. This was quite a hard shot to get at this guy because they move so quick. But they have plenty of predators, giant wasps to snakes. But the most significant risk to their existence is a loss of habitat from deforestation. The Central and South American regions where glass frogs live are continuing to decrease after rainforests are cut down to make room for human and agricultural development. In 2001, for example, Mexico lost 186,000 hectare acres of natural forest. So it's sad to see a beautiful creature like this be threatened from human, um, human encroachment. So rather than laying their eggs in water like most other types of frogs, glass frogs lay their eggs on the underside of leaves overhanging a stream. After the eggs hatch, the tadpoles fall from the leaf into the water below where they develop into frogs. The, the good part about this is they get a full-time parent because the females do not stick around after the males, uh, sorry, after the females lay the eggs, they do not stick around. So it's the males that have to take care of them. The bad part about this is the eggs are susceptible to being eaten by other predators. Insects, particularly wasps, will eat the eggs. It's an easy meal. So what the males will do, you can actually look it up on YouTube. Look up glass frog versus wasp. When the wasp gets too close, the males will use the hind legs to literally kick or push away the wasp, kind of like a spring. So as the wasp gets near the eggs, the frog uses those hind legs to kick the wasp, and that's how they defend themselves. So they are nocturnal. Most species of gla glass frogs are nocturnal. They stay hidden or sleeping under tree leaves and behind branches during the day, near streams, and becoming active at night. Once the sun goes down, glass frogs venture out into the forest to mate and to hunt for food. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that cool, guys, to see his whole organs and his whole internal system there uh, just just beating so the skin on their backs is typically a bright lime green while their bones intestines heart and other organs are obviously they're visible uh, in fact most glass frog species look much like any other type of tree frog when observed from above which is true it's only when you see the bottom of it do you recognize that it has all that it's it's really fascinating just to see you can even see its little you can see his little throat beating his little intestine and I wonder what the, the purpose is of having a transparent underside. I'm sure it serves them some type of purpose for survival. But, but these are fascinating creatures. When faced with predators, they will use their climbing skills to move further into safety. Uh, if they that doesn't work, glass frogs can jump more than 10 feet in a single bound. Wow. So this little frog can jump 10 feet. So this frog is probably not even an inch. Maybe, maybe, maybe an inch with its body spread out. Maybe two inches. So to think that this can jump 20 feet is unbelievable. Uh, I'm sorry, 10 feet. Uh, but that is a beautiful, beautiful creature, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because this was not an easy shot to get. But this is the glass frog. Okay, thank you all so much.